the Muslims two months ago the Muslims two months ago they were saying the Muslims are 1.6 billion two months after they are 1.8 by the new year by Christmas time they will say we are two billion just wait go ahead my friend I hear you yeah um, in regards to what you were saying just now mm. uh, the Prophet uh, peace be upon him said that uh, Islam will enter every house mm. uh, in the world uh, and this is something that you always warn your um, your friends about that um, that your 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 sister your brother may be, may become Muslim. So what do you think about this amazing prophecy of the Prophet Muhammad okay. when when he had let me, when let he me, had let only let few me, friends? Let, let me answer you. Let me answer you. Should I answer you? Yeah. Should I answer you? When I speak to yeah. the Christians about be careful that your kids you go to school, somebody might deceive them. Does it mean? Everybody will be infected with this disease, but the disease is there. Same time, your prophet in front of me, this is the hadith, a sahih hadith. He prophesied that Islam starts small and will end small. So are you saying to me that your prophet, he lied to you and he gave you a contradiction? He said in one hadith that Islam will enter every house and different hadiths will say that Islam will end as a strange small religion. No, the only contradiction is in your head. Well, here we go. It's yeah. in front of me. It says it says that I... Islam is that Islam is start as something strange, which means small, and will end as something strange and small. Read it with me. This There's is Sahih. To... This is Sahih Muslim Hadith number one four six. Bada al Islam gariban wa sofa yahud gariban. Not only that, your prophet he claimed that in, in the time will come and people they are going to uh, uh, piss in his in his uh, in his uh, grave. Uh, look, um, you have uh, the 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 only the contradiction only exists in your head, and that is because you do not um, you do not read how all the Islamic uh, literature says about this topic and how the scholars explain it. Um, the, the explain it to me. I'm listening. Us, I'm listening. Explain it to me. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. The uh, our scholars explain that Islam will dominate the world. Explain this hadith um, in the front of me. Don't change the topic. Explain this hadith for me. You said. That you okay. do not understand. Explain the hadith for me. Go ahead. In um, yeah, in in short, what this hadith uh, says is that Islam, before the the the, the world ends, before, uh, for example, there will there will be there will be beasts and there will be diseases and the the most evil of people will exist before the judgment day and they will be punished. Uh, but that's at the end. That's at the end before the judgment day, and okay, Muslims so, will be saved so from that. You are saying day. that in so, the, uh, before the judgment day, Islam will be almost dead. Are you saying that before Allah finishes the world, hmm. Allah will finish, Allah will save the Muslims by making them all my disappear. friend? But before, before, will before the judgment day, this is before Islam is started as strange, small religion and will end as a small religion. That's mean. That Islam is not going to grow, Islam is going to shrink. Are you able to explain to me what your prophet's saying? Go ahead. Okay. Right now, the, the moment that we are living right now is the where the prophecy is being fulfilled, where the prophet about said what? Islam will about what? where Islam Islam will enter every house. And also where, where, the, Quran where is says, the prophecy? Where is the prophecy you mentioned to me? Let us laugh. The, the hadith that says show me the hadith, uh, show, me the hadith. show me the hadith okay hmm. um islam will enter every house hadith okay this is in musnad ahmed hadith number hmm. is not is, um, is musnad ahmed a sahih book for you it depends if the scholars uh, no, no, no. I'm asking you is the, is the book of Sahih Muslim Ahmad is it Sahih for you? I do not want you to go to another topic. Let's, no, we're let's, not going to other topic. To I want to see why yeah, you are yeah, chosen yeah. Muslim Ahmad if Muslim Ahmad is not Sahih. Is it Sahih? Is this book Sahih? Yes or no? Well, the, the scholars say this particular hadith is Sahih. And so this is not my it. question. Is the book of Sahih or of Muslim Ahmad is it Sahih for you? Is it considered? I, I only take what the scholars uh, classify as. Well, I'm as asking as you sahih. what the scholars say about the book of Musnad Ahmad. Do they say it's a Sahih book? Uh, I'm not going to go into this. Uh, what do you mean you don't want to go? You are the one who mentioned to me the book. Why you are mentioning the book if you don't agree with it? Do you agree with this book? Is it a is it a good book or a garbage book? Do you want to go and see what the hadith says? 
we want to go but the book you are quoting yeah. for me the book you are quoting for me you are the one a second ago we showed you how you said it is weak it's weak it's weak okay the hadith you are <laughs> showing me to me is it from authentic book yes or no I'm not talking about the whole book. I'm talking about this specific hadith. My friend, my, hadith. My, doesn't matter. I'm asking you, let me, is, let me, is let that me. is that book, is that book authentic for you? Are so you if I prophecy? show you, if I show you from that book something, you will be ashamed of. Are you going to accept the book or not? I accept everything that is classified as hadith. Any hadith or only this hadith? Every hadith that is classified as uh, as sahih, but let me let's let's uh, let's stick to the hadith that we're talking about, the prophecy, okay. the amazing prophecy of okay. the final messenger. Of okay, God. let us see if this is a truth. Okay, okay, go ahead. Okay, what is the he hadith? He says, um, "This is in uh, in Muslim Ahmad." Hmm. Uh, he says, "The Prophet peace be upon him says, verily this matter, Islam will reach where the day and night have reached, hmm. and it will not leave a house." except that it will enter it whereby the honor the honorable person will be honored with islam and the disgraceful will be disgraced mm. so someone like you who hates islam will be disgraced okay. and this prophecy is being okay fulfilled. i want you to read the hate for I me say, story Allahu Akbar. i want you to read Allahu the hate for Akbar. read the hate for me story so, so everybody will will will, will, uh, will uh, did you say allah Akbar three times now Allahu Akbar. Did you say three times? Uh, this, this is an amazing prophecy. Okay, did you did you did, is... did your prophet say Allahu Akbar three times? Yes or no? Man, uh, let's it's, it is you. Hadith. So you are a practice so, so, Okay, so, now, so, now, let me let me you, let me you ask feel? you. Did you just say you that 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 Islam will enter wherever the sun goes, wherever the wherever the day and the night goes? Is that did you say that? Read like in the hadith. Um, let me let me say again. Read again. Uh, I I missed it. Who said it, man? Will reach where the day and night have reached. Look For example, how stupid this uh, statement. Hold, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Will reach wherever the day and the night arrive. That's mean yeah. nowhere. It's mean his no, town. No, no. Hold on, hold on, no, no. hold on, hold on, hold on. This is a false stupid prophecy because day and night is here as I live. It, I do not need to go anywhere. Uh, you're so deceitful. Look, you see you how you stupid you are. Everything now and again. Let us see. This is mean that your prophet is a liar because how Islam is going to enter every house, and yet people will not believe in it because you just said that Islam will enter every house. Okay, here we go. We have the internet. Maybe this is the prophecy. It entered my house, and I'm laughing at it. Uh, I do. I do not see your channel. So uh, no, you see my wait. channel. The Islam enter my house. And I have the Quran in my house, and I am laughing at the Quran. So you're a prophet again is a false. And here we go, the hate in front of me. It says Islam is start as a small and will end as a small. And let me ask you, did your prophet I, I did your did your prophet? You okay, okay, let me see how you can explain this one. Did your prophet say that dogs is going to piss in his grave because Muslim they will leave Islam? In the city, why are you moving? Why in the, you I'm not moving. So, I'm not moving. So, did your anyway, did your anyway, prophet what, what, say? What, what, did your prophet? What, what, what did, you did, did your prophet you say? Did your prophet say that dogs will piss in his grave in the city of Al Medina because Muslims will leave it? Yes or no? Why? Why do you not want to talk? Yes or no? Wait. Why do you not want to talk about? I am talking. I am talking about the prophecy. This is the prophecy, Abdul. Why the dogs will piss at your prophet grave and why the Muslims will not stay in the city of Al Medina? Explain to us. If you are scared about this prophecy, I can move to another one. Here we go. We are talking we about have, one. We are oh, talking about one. Wait, when you're a prophet, when you're a prophet, he said dogs will piss on him. Was he prophesying a lie or he is telling the truth? Do you want do you want me to prove Islam to you? My Let friend, me you I am asking I, you a question. I'm showing you the reference in the screen. Did your prophet say that the dogs, the one who will live only in the city of Al Medina, is going to be no Muslim there, only beasts and dogs, and they will piss in his mosque? Yes or no? This neither proves nor disproves Islam. Let's talk about more important stuff. Do you not Abdul, think that's no, this is important. You are talking about the prophecy. Either your prophet yes. is a false prophet or not. So now you are yes. saying to me, yes. Islam will enter every house. Your prophet yes. saying dogs will enter his grave and they will piss on him. Islam will enter every house. Let, my friend, let me give you my one, friend, one my friend, my friend. What if I get uh, you busted? What if I get you busted from the Quran? Look, Allah says in the Quran, Abdul. That, Allah said in the Quran that not a single person will not believe in Jesus. Look, look. 
answer is it true is it true that the Quran says that the Quran says that not a single person but he believe in Jesus look I I, I want to talk about the prophecies <laughs> the, the miracles of this is a prophecy this is a prophecy uh, I Abdul, Abdul, so why many. you don't want to talk about it so did, did the Quran so says prophecies. that oh, everybody will be Christian at the end of the day yes or no Man, uh, how's what? what, what, what you see, about? Let's you, talk you about see, you are trying, you are trying to escape. Does the Quran, does the Quran confirm that everybody, everybody, and the Christianity will be victorious, and everybody will believe in Him, which is Jesus the Christ? Um, have, have you have you read the tafsir of this verse? You tell me the tafsir of. The, do you know even what verse I'm talking about? I uh, I have heard of it. You heard of it? Which verse? Yeah, I'm, the the one where it says that. Um, is is it the one where it says which none verse? Of the, none, none of the people of the book uh, that will um, which verse? will finally believe. Which verse? Why why do you not want me just to fi to finish I'm, my? Prophecy? I'm asking you which verse. verse. Okay, let me, let me let me bring you more prophecies about <laughs> the, prophet, the, the prophet of Muhammad, and then we can move hold on, to hold on, hold on, hold on. Aren't you the one who said to me that in order to understand something, we have to read the whole image, we have to connect things together? Here we go. You're a prophet confirming that Jesus is the victorious, and everybody will believe in him, not yes. on Muhammad. In him, yeah. why not yes. in Muhammad? When when Jesus is victorious, that means Islam is winning, my friend. Because no, Jesus no, no, is no. Muslim. Jesus is not. Jesus is Jesus. Why? If Islam is winning, then Muhammad is the greatest prophet in Islam. So you should say, not a single person, but he will believe in Muhammad. Jesus is a Muslim. Abdul, Abdul, for uh, hold on. In order for Jesus to be a Muslim, he have to be a child molester like your prophet. Did Jesus marry a five years old kid? Did he rape women? Did he say any man who want to enter upon me, he have to pay me first? Did he go to the house of his own son and he flirt with the wife when she is married? You did, are changing. Did he, I'm you not changing, changing topic. You, you are, are the one who topic. just said. You are the one who just I, said that I Jesus is a Muslim. Not. If Jesus is a Muslim, how come he don't have the ethic of Islam, which is false and disgusting? What is the proof that Jesus is a Muslim? Jesus is a slave of Allah. That's he, false. He, Allah, he, Allah is the slave of Jesus, and I can prove it to you. Look, 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 your God. Let me get you busted, guys. Isn't it true that Jesus he forgives sin of people? He does. Look what your God, Allah, says. Allah, He says, May your Lord forgive you. May your Lord, who is the one will forgive who? Why Allah? Why Allah say? Why Allah He say may? What may mean? Is Allah God who can make things happen, or He is not sure? Man, they, they have been. Uh, what may? Stories. Why Allah keeps saying may? All the verses I'm showing in the screen, Allah keeps saying may. Why? These are linguistic. Abdul, chapter words four, verse you... number ninety-nine. It says, "May Allah forgive you." What does that mean? Jesus, He said, <laughs> "Your sin is forgiven." Go. Your sin is forgiven. The Jews, they said to him, how you can forgive sin? Jesus said, which one is easier to say, your sin is forgiven or take your bed and walk? The guy, he cannot walk. So Jesus, he forgives sin. Allah, he says, may your God forgive you. Who is the one talking to who? Look. Look. Um, look. I answer me. Don't change the topic. Look. And this is irrelevant. I don't Look, know what you mentioned when what, Allah what, is what, when what Allah end, it's ir, it's irrelevant. Why Allah he say maybe Allah will give you victory? Why Allah at that moment he is not sure? فعسى الله أن يأتي بالفتح فعسى الله Allah may Allah bring victory for you. Is he God or he is asking another God to bring victory? Do you think that? Uh, Hello? When Allah says uh, may, 
It means that yeah, there's it says a may, percent, obviously no, it says may. Not, what may mean? What, what may mean? What may mean? What may mean? What may mean? The best thing to do is to go to the tafsir and they, go they to will the explain. Tafsir. No problem. Here we go. Which one you want? Which tafsir you want? Look at uh, Ibn Kathir or Tabari. Yeah. Okay. Any one you want. Which one you want? Which verse you want? The, 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 the one you mentioned. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Look, uh, 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 listen, listen, listen. When Allah, when Allah, He said to Muhammad, let us go to this verse. When Allah, He said to him, that ask for Allah forgiveness. Mm -hmm. hmm. And Allah, yeah. He said to him, "May Allah, so may Allah forgive your sin." What does that mean? Look at the tafsir. Why you ask me? I'm, I'm not asking you. I'm asking you. Give me the tafsir of that verse. Give me the tafsir. I'm listening. And then your point is what you think is that, my point uh, is my my point is if Allah is God, why He is saying maybe Allah will forgive your sin? Allah is sure or not? Are we not talking about the prophecies? Are you scared my about friend, the prophecies? We, we, you, you are the one who said uh, we, we, this is why we switch. You are the one who switch here. You said to yeah. me that Jesus, uh, you know, Islam will be victorious. I wanted to show you yeah. in the Quran that the Quran said Jesus will be victorious. You said Jesus is a Muslim. So Muhammad will not be victorious. They believe in Jesus and the follower look, of Jesus, according to Quran, they will be the one victorious. Look, this is uh, this is only Abdul, corrupted, Abdul, uh, mind Abdul, that makes you think Abdul, like that. Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. The, the, was there your, is no contradiction. Was your prophet? Me, me was your this. prophet? Was your prophet a sinner? Yes or no? Uh, I can answer that later. Anyway, let why me finish. You can't, my why you can't answer that now? Why? Because I have not finished. There's so many uh, prophecies in Islam. What? What? I, uh, okay, name for me one for prophecy. Me. Hold on, hold on. Are you saying to me the prophecy in Islam is only in the Hadith, but there's no prophecy in the Quran? There is in the Quran. Who show me? Um, Allah says in the Quran that mm -hmm. um, He sent His messenger mm -hmm. with guidance and the religion of truth to make it prevail over all religions. Mm -hmm. And there's the 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 statistics today. Mm. Prove that Islam will dominate the world, my friend. This is false. And Christianity yes. is the fastest, biggest belief That's false. ever. That China is coming to Christ. Al Jazeera TV. I can show you. I can play it for you right now. It says sixteen thousand Muslims leave in Islam a day. Okay. I called the CNN myself. Listen, I called the CNN myself. I said I have a tape from Al Jazeera. Saying 16,000 Muslims leave Islam a day, can you publish it? They said, Let us transfer you to the finance department. I said, What do you mean, finance? This is news. They said, This is your news, not ours. I said, You publish in your CNN that Islam is the fastest growing religion. They said, Yes, you have to pay for that in news because this is your news. So, you want us to transfer? I said, No, I cannot afford it. Thank you very much. So, according to your Islamic TV at Jazeera, 16,000 Muslims leave Islam a day. How many Christians convert to Islam a day? Your mind. I want you to search in Google mm. uh, Islam to 2070. You will see that they all this, of them agree. This is a flood by you, but nobody agree. This is this, Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. This is your this is yes. your propaganda. You spend a lot yeah. of money on it. The truth is the opposite. And the proof Man. in the in, look, in, look. in his in this channel, how many Muslims they left Islam in the last 30 days in here in YouTube calling me? And and, and you think this um, goes against what all the uh, reports say? Yes, because Man, there, because even thousand. your prophet, even your prophet, he says Islam will end as a strange. And oh, even, man, and, you're, you're going back. And, do, and dogs, yes, we even, have to go back. Are you saying to me your prophet is lying when he said that even dogs will piss on his grave? You are changing the topic so much. What? Let's, okay. Let's, if, if Islam, let's, let's if, no, 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 hold on. If Islam is going to be the majority, how the city of Al Medina will be empty according to your prophet? So you now you you agree that Islam is the fastest religion and it will be I agree, the largest. I agree that you are a donkey. I agree. I agree that you are a donkey. You keep running away from the uh, question. Well, if well, Islam, well, why, why if Islam, Islam is going to be the biggest religion and Islam is going to dominate, did your prophet he lie when he said the city of Al Medina will be empty and dogs only will be there pissing on the in, in his grave? I know you have the ability to change topics. I'm not changing now, topic. I, I am with the topic. If Islam, me. you see, you are a coward. If Islam will dominate. Explain to me why your prophet said that the city of Al Medina will be totally empty and no Muslims there. Where the Muslims will go? To Hawaii? 
we're talking about the prophecy and we're talking we about, are talking this, about this, this, this is a prophecy you donkey this is a prophecy you, don't you see this you, is about the future you're a prophet saying that the city of al medina will nobody live in it except beast so do you agree or not that islam will dominate the world islam is dead according to me <laughs> islam is dead and you are dead look at you here we go the proof islam is dead you cannot even you are denying your prophet words you, you are ashamed of it let, let me let me show you a prophecy your prophet he said just to show you that islam is a lie and a joke did your prophet prophesy that whoever come first the baby will be a boy if it's a male the baby will be a boy and it's a female will baby will be a girl oh yeah are you talking about science now well this is a prophecy uh what's what's this science and uh... this is a prophecy this is not science this is a prophecy a prophet talking a prophet talking he is talking about things we do not know he said the man water is thick and white and the women water is thin and yellow whichever of them come first the child will resemble the parent this is a prophecy people in his time supposedly do not know science they are savage bedouin was your prophet prophesying the truth or he was making poo poo? Everything that the prophet says is is, is right. So you but agree, uh, so you agree, the, so you agree with your prophet, so you agree with your prophet that he told the true prophecy, yes? Everything the prophet says is this correct. is not the question. Do you agree with him here when he said if a man have orgasm first, the baby will be resembling the father, and if the women have orgasm first, the baby will resemble the mother. Do you agree? Look, I agree with everything that this is not the says. question. This is not the question. I want you to say, yes, I agree. If the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. If the man, if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. I am not going to interpret and say this is the understanding. I, I, say, I am not asking you to enter. It, it's a clear. Everybody is looking no, at you. Everybody. No. So listen, if you're a prophet, he lie in this prophecy. It's mean all his prophecy is a lie. Everything the prophet says is correct. That's, so you agree with him you that, agree that, that, you, so you agree that your prophet here is saying the truth that if you have orgasm first the baby will look like you do you know how many uh, people do you know how I many not, uh, do you know how many people now are laughing at you well these are christians they are no uh, they, everybody they, they, they are here in, for in, in the chat there is atheists there is hindus there is buddhas there's a christian there's muslims who is the donkey Will believe in such a garbage you have to be a certified donkey to believe in this you are the one who said to me search google can you search google and find me in your prophet google piece upon him where it says that the one who decide the look of the baby and the gender of the baby is the one come orgasm first i i suggest to everyone to uh to research about the meaning of this uh, the hadith, I think you, it will you make search, sense. You find us. Here we go. We're talking. We have time. I'm listening. Uh, I don't have time. To, no, you. To no, we now. have time. I have time until tomorrow. No. Here we go. I will I give you time. I, you I are a coward. Have, you are ashamed. You are ashamed, aren't you? I, I have. You I are have a ashamed. Like you hang up. Why you want to hang up? Why you want to hang up? Embarrassing. I'm not hanging it, up. Okay. So, so why you don't? You, why you say you don't have time? Go ahead. I'm listening. You, you, you just said to me that um, why, I, I don't kill. Why you say you don't? Yes, well, you are a donkey. Let me show you. You're a prophet. He prophesied about donkey. Let me show you. You're a prophet. He said that if you lift your head before the imam, Allah will make your head as a, the head of a donkey. Did your prophet lie? If a donkey believes in the, the thing that you mentioned, it's no, now. no, no, no. What? This is not. The, this what? is not. This is not what I'm saying. You're a prophet. He said if you raise your head before the imam. Allah will make your head the head of a donkey and the hadith in the front of me it is sahih. Do you agree or not? I have uh, not read uh, this hadith. It's in the front of you, no problem. The prophet said, let me read it for you. Isn't it he who no. raised his head, shut up, his head before the imam afraid that Allah may transform his head, transform his head into of a donkey of his figure, face into a donkey. Do you see it? And this is Sahih al-Bukhari and this is Sahih. Do you agree with this prophecy of your prophet? If yes, can you show me one Muslim who raised his head before the Imam finished the prayer and his face turned into a donkey? Uh, I'm not sure the, uh, if you take this one um, literally. So are you saying uh, to me, are you saying to me that your prophet, he did not take it literally? He was making fun of you? What, do you, what does that mean? Explain to me. Go ahead. Aren't you afraid? He's saying, aren't you afraid? 
that if you turn your head before the imam up allah will make your face and your your, your figure a figure of a donkey explain to us we are listening as i told you before that uh, i'm not gonna go into so don't I, don't be angry when i say to you you are a donkey you're a prophet before uh, you he called you donkey because there's wanna... no there's no muslim in the world he did not r raise his head before the imam finish mm. i never saw one he don't raise his head before the imam finish because there's no way to know if the imam finish or not your head is down you do not know unless you look in order to look you have to raise your head so you're a prophet uh, saying that every muslim should be a donkey by now and nobody turned to, to donkey so your prophet is a liar let me show you another one you're a, you're a prophet in the quran in the quran huh he said to the christians if you don't believe in me i will erase your face you know what verse i'm talking about my interest when i came to this conversation Abdul, was your interest is to get busted prophecy. your your, okay. your interest is getting busted this is, the this is a my, prophecy my passion. this is my passion this is, was about this is this is this is a prophecy when you're a prophet he said if you don't believe in me allah will erase your face will have you will make you have no eyes and will make your nose inside out the same he did to the jews he made them dogs he made them pigs and monkeys and this is in chapter 4 verse number 47 did your prophet gave a false prophecy the prophet never gives false prophecies then explain that, to me I'm asking. then explain to me then explain to me there was no christian ever his face, his eyes was erased. And the example is me. Who is more fighting Islam than me? Why Allah is not erasing my eyes and my nose? Here we go. It's in the front of you. All people of the book. Believe in what we have. Now, revealed, confirming that what was already with you. Before we change the face and the fame of some of you beyond all recognition and turn them hind words or curse them as we curse the sabbath breaker for the decision of allah must be carried out was that a false threat or it was a true threat christians are, are cursed that's correct abdul <clears throat> but here it says allah will erase our face allah will make our our nose inside out Allah will make our eyebrows disappear. Allah will make us flat face. Did that happen to the Christians? Is that necessarily in this world or the afterlife? No, I'm this is sure. in the world. It says now, before the same as we did to the Jews. He did that to the Jews before, not in the judgment day. He made them pigs and monkeys. This is not in okay. the judgment day. So okay. why this prophecy is false? Explain to me. This is Quran. When you ask um, about prophecies in Islam, isn't it the right thing to to ask me to bring you the proof rather than you trying to disprove? Isn't it the same? The Here we go. It's the same. Here we go. No, this no, is a prophecy. No, no, this is a prophecy. No, no. This is a prophet. This is a prophecy. Your prophet prophesying that if you don't believe in me, Allah will erase your face, will erase your eyes, will erase your nose, will erase your mouth, and you will be out of any recognition. How come this prophecy never happened? And this is now he's saying now, if you don't believe in me now, he's threatening them now. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you, you will have what happened to the Jews before. This is not about judgment day. This is about now. Explain to me mm -hmm. why Muhammad, God, he said the false threat and he could not do it. You only see it as a problem is because you don't uh, believe in Islam. That's well, why. I'm okay, okay, you. okay. You explain to me. That's I'm why listening. I'm, I'm listening. That, I'm listening. Explain to me. Here we go. I'm listening. That that's why I am telling you. Let me bring you tens and hundreds of prophecies. My friend, in my friend, you have you, you have no prophecy. Here we go. Because if this one is yes. a false prophecy, if this one is false uh, prophecy, I, you, you have not let listen, me bring are, you more. Are prophecies. you are you saying to me that your prophet in this case here he was a liar, but in other cases he was truthful? No, I'm telling you that. Uh, so let's, explain let's to me. Focus. Okay, then explain to me why this prophecy here is a false one. I'm not going to talk about this. Why not? One. Why not? To, you are ashamed. Want, what, are you ashamed of your prophet lying in here, but you are proud about your prophet not lying in different place? I want to bring you uh, is that the prophecies what, that. My friend, man, my friend, why, man. why, why you don't want to prove to me yourself? Why you keep? Are, are you sniffing like a dog? 
I want you to shut up and let me bring you the prophecy. You are getting busted. You are getting that we see Okay, listen, listen, listen. Okay, I'm going to give you, the, 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 I'm giving you, I'm going to give you a chance. It. Let us do this. Me, a deal from you, a deal from me. Let us make an agreement. You show me a prophecy from your prophet. I show you a prophet, a prophecy from your prophet. And let everybody laugh. Do you agree? Um you, you should let me make a case my friend you make a case, a case no okay problem. not you, just one, but one, no, by one no problem one from you one from because, me. Because, one one because, from me one from me one from you is that okay do you know what the logical logical thing to do is yeah actually, is actually, actually let me, let me, is it logical yeah. that allah will give you a penis which will be endless is it logical that allah will give you eighty thousand women is it logical that allah will give you boys to serve you in heaven is it logical that in heaven Allah will give you a bracelet made of gold, which is silly, stupid? Is it logical that Allah will give you a couch in heaven? I have a couch in the front of my house right now. If I open the camera for you, do you want it? God, he promised me a drink mixed with ginger in heaven. Is that logical? Well, if someone like you who believes in three gods and uh, sees the problem, that's false. Wonder, you see, let me. Let I really me, cannot let me, speak let to. Let me get uh, you busted. I, I really you, you, are a, you are a liar. You are trying. Like you. Don't hang up. You say that we believe in three gods. That's mean the Quran made a false prophecy again, because the Quran it says that the Christian believe that the Messiah, he is Allah. The Quran did not say that the Christian believe in three gods. You are a liar. You are a scam. You are you are a scam. Your prophet said said it clearly that the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah. Read with me, chapter five, verse number seventeen, which means the Christian believe. Hold set up, which means the Christian believe in one God, and they claim that the Messiah is the same as Allah. Yes or no? The Quran says that you believe in in three. It, it, it tells the verse you in the front of you. Are you say saying three. to me? Are you saying to me Allah did lie? Here we go. The verse in the front of you. It says that in a blasphemy indeed are those who say Allah is the Christ. Do you see it? Yeah, that's what you. That's what you believe. Abdul, that, that Abdul, Jesus is God. Thank you very much. But a second ago, you said that we believe in three God. You, you donkey. Aren't you the yes, one you who said three gods. you are a liar? The Quran says we believe that God is a Christ. We don't believe in three. The the, the other verse. Yes. What? You believe in does, three gods. Does this verse the, say? The does this son son verse? You are a liar. We believe in one God. Anyone can even no, ask me. Shut up, you son of Muta. Don't ever call me again. Let your mom yes. call me. Let your mom call me. The second you start being dishonest to extreme, I have nothing to say to you.